Hello, this is Pastor Billy Russell here. I hope this message finds you doing well. As we come to you with some wise words, we pray and hope that you all are doing well. God bless you. I want you to know that today I still believe all of us are passing through some very difficult times. Now, here's the bottom line. If we're going to be the people that God wants us to be, we must learn how to handle life's valleys, life's trials, and problems. The book of Job has something to say about handling the difficult situations of life. How do we handle the difficult situations of life? The lesson taught in this book of Job can give us the faith to echo the words of Job, where he said, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Job 13 and 15. The book of Job teaches us some lessons about what to do when we face the difficult times of life. It teaches us how we, sh we, can, we can still look confidently and lovingly into the face of our Heavenly Father and declare, I still believe. Job lost much. He lost a whole lot. He lost his family. He lost his fortunes. He lost his fitness. He lost his friends. And yet he said, I still believe. I want you to know that none of us get out, get out of here untouched and unscathed by trouble. Trouble will do one or two things in, in your life. Your troubles can drive you to God or drive you away from God. If you understand that the Lord is in control of all of life, then you can rest in the sure knowledge that God is in control of all that comes to pass in life. Your troubles can drive you closer to God or they can drive you away from God. Our troubles will either make us or break us. When these events occurred in Job's life, he was faced with a certain temptation. These are the same temptation that we all face when trouble haunts us. The same temptation that Job faced, we face the same thing. Job, he could have blamed God because his friends had said it was his fault. Job, it's your fault, and this is on you. But one of the great benefits of suffering is that it reveals the true character of the people around us. We get to know the people who are really around us. Job, friends. Job could have become bitter toward God. Job could have adopted the attitude of his wife. Many people react with bitterness toward the thing God allows in their life. It would do us well to remember that God's purposes in trials is not to destroy us, but to perfect us. Just as pressure and heat and time are needed to create a diamond, the same things are needed to produce saints. He could have chosen not to bother with God and just give up. That's what the enemy wanted him to do. Give up. Satan would try to sell us down the same road. What will you do? Well, will you give up? Let me just tell you, here's what Job did. He worshiped God. He renewed his commitment. He witnessed to God. He declared his faith in God. In other words, Job said, through it all, I still believe. I say to you today, I want you to speak it in your spirit right now and say it right now. I still believe. I still believe. Pastor Billy Russell here, praying that you stay safe. I'm going to see you soon, real soon. Trust me, real soon. Real soon. But stay safe. Stay friendship strong. Keep praying those powerful prayers I hear every morning at 7 o'clock a.m. in the morning. Keep praying. But then stay close to God as we stay close to each other. Stay friendship strong. God bless you. We are truly better together.